Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVBNet's video series on DFS which is called Depth First Search and you know what, it's very easy. It uses stack and this is the program here and we are going to work on this graph and I have written the steps in the English language so that it will be very easy for you to actually map this program with these steps and this is an iterative way of doing this DFS. We have recursive way also and I'll show you that after this so keep watching this video till the end and you will not forget this dfs ever so let's start this uh you know what i will not take this one first i wanted to tell few points so these are the points so the first point is depth first search is an algorithm or technique for traversing tree or graph and dfs uses stack or we can use recursive approach so you need to understand or remember these two points for this and the application of the DFS is to find the minimum spanning tree of all pairs, what is path tree and detecting a cycle in the graph, path finding, topological sorting, or to test graph is bipartite or not, find a strongly connected component of a graph. I love this part <laughs> and maze problems. I mean, I like these things also because it is really cool when you use DFS to actually solve these problems. Okay. So these are the few applications you can have n number of application of DFS. There is no limit what you can think of with this DFS approach because the great part is the ability to backtrack. So let's go back and understand it. So before actually going for this graph, what I would like to tell you is uh, it is depth for search, right? So let's suppose you have this tree. Okay, and this is actually a tree. We can make it graph also, no problem. Let's suppose um, what to do. Okay, this I have joined and this also I have joined and let's suppose this is also joined. So the point is with the DFS, as it says, it goes into the depth. So if you are standing here and you want to traverse using DFS, then what you will do? You will go to either of these two nodes. Let's suppose you are going here and then you will go either of these two. You are not going to go to this one. So from here, you will go here. And then from here, you can go to these two places. Maybe you're going here this time. And then from here, you can go to this place, this place, this place, and this place. Let's suppose you are going here. So can you see this? We are actually going into the depth. We are not looking into the breadth. So another graph or tree traversal algorithm, famous traversal algorithm is BFS, which we'll see in the next video. That goes something like this. Let me just undo all these things. Okay, so again, we are standing here. And after this, what we'll do, we will see these two first before going any further. So we'll visit this one and this one, then this, 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 and this. And then after that, we'll go for these nodes. Okay, so can you see this? We are actually going breadth wise, not the depth wise. So this is the basic difference. And yeah, another cool thing to remember is in depth first search, we use stack. Okay, and in BFS, we use Q. And these are very quick answers to the interview questions if they ask you. Now it's time to actually look into this program and these steps and I'll show you step by step. So uh, our starting node is this one. For simplicity, I'm starting from top because it looks good and there is no restriction. You can start from any node. So we are starting from one. So let's read these lines one by one. Push start node in the stack and mark is visited. And this is what exactly I am doing here. See, this is a start node I am passing into this function and this is vector of vector. Oh my goodness. I just forgot to tell you the data structure I'm using here. I'm using vector of vector. It means it would look something like this. We have one vector and then internally it will hold another vector. So it is like two dimensional array or something. Okay. So this is how it is going to look like and how this will actually help us to store this graph. I'm going to tell you that. See, one is adjacent with four and two. So let's suppose this is first number of this vector, which is this outer vector. And then we'll push back two and four here. So it's like one is adjacent with two and four. But wait a minute, wherever this 
2 and 4 are there we will push 1 also sorry not here so this is how we are actually maintaining don't worry I, when i will do this dry run of this program we will get to know all these things hey guys it's time for a quick pause and what you are seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so if you join me i can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and i'll still have something for you so do visit my patreon page and see if you like it and if you want to discontinue anytime you can do that so if you have already visited my patreon page let's continue our video now okay so it is saying that push a start node in the stack and market visited so we have actually taken this start node and pushed it into the stack i have created stack of integers and we have pushed it and mark it visited so this is done while stack is not empty we have taken this out let's mark this visited it is saying that pop out a node from stack and push all the non-visited node of popped out node i mean adjacent node so four and two are the adjacent node of this one so what it is saying that pop out this one so we have taken this one and printed so let's remove this one from here and it is saying that push non-visited adjacent nodes into the stack so we can push two and four because these two nodes are adjacent to the node we have just popped out and this is very important line order of popping the stack is actually order of traversal so we have popped out one from the stack meaning we have visited it so we will say that this is the output or this is the traversal path and after pushing these adjacent nodes into the stack we can mark them visited so we have to mark these two as visited so this is also marked this is also marked and if you will try to map all these things with this program no it will actually map so if you want you can pause the video and try to map these lines with this program it will actually map that's why i have kept this program here so now we have to go back to the step number two while stack is not empty no stack is still full so we'll again go to step number three pop out a node so let's pop out this four from here and we will put this four as a output and it is saying that push the adjacent node of this four into this stack but non-visited ones so two is also visited one is also visited five and six are not visited so i'll push five and six so step number three is done now go back stack is still full we will pop out this six from here so let's pop out this six and place this six as output and once we pop out or yeah before that i had to mark it so this is also marked and this is also marked and now i have popped out it so after popping out what we're supposed to do we're supposed to push into the stack those nodes which are not visited so only three is not visited which is adjacent to th six because we have popped out six so adjacent to six meaning this one and this one so this is already visited so this is non visited so we'll push this into the stack now okay so this is pushed and this we have to mark so it says we have to mark also so we'll mark it so this is also visited now let's go back to the step number two it is saying that is it empty no it's not empty we will pop out this three so we have popped out we will erase it and once it pop out it checks is there any adjacent node non-visited no it's not so we'll just simply go back to step number two so step number two will check is it empty no then we'll pop out this five so let's do this and when we are popping out this five we have to check is there any non-visited adjacent node to this five no there is not so we'll just simply go back to loop so before that we had to remove this five and now only two is left and the same thing with the two so we'll pop out this two from here and our algorithm is done so this is the actual order you will traverse this graph so this one first then this then this then this then this and then this so this is the way to do this with recursion i have done this dfs r meaning recursion it is very simple <laughs> we will call it with the start node and then we will say that okay we have to mark this as a visited and print it meaning we have visited this first node and then verify all the adjacent if it is not true meaning we have to call them and if it is 
true meaning it was already visited because once we visit we initialize true in that so this is how it will work and in order to understand this you should be knowing recursion if you don't know recursion please go ahead and watch my video on the recursion and this is what i showed you the iterative way and see we have to initialize this visited vector with all the things as false and this is the main driver function and here i am saying that how many nodes are there how many edges are there and this program i have prepared as i used to play this uh, programming competitions so this is the traditional way of doing it i will take a vector of vector c i have taken a vector of vector and how many nodes are there that many plus one would be the resize number and then visited is also a, a vector of boolean here and then i'm just simply resizing that also with nodes plus one and this is how i push my data into the vector see i'm taking from console input x and y so this is one node this is another node and this is the actual input to my program see i have six nodes and seven edges so you should be knowing what is edges edges connect to nodes and these are the edges so one is connected to two one is connected to four you remember one was connected to two and four and four was connected to five so this is how i will give the input to my program and then i will initialize my visited node which will be initialized with false and then i'll call this dfs and this recursive dfs so let me run this and we will sum this video so compile successfully i'll execute it and now i'll just copy paste this input so this is the input for my graph okay so let's paste it and i'll hit enter and see it is showing one four six three five two oh my god this is the actual number we got there right and let me see which one i'm using see i'm using a recursive way sorry non-recursive way this is an iterative way so let me just get rid of this one visited visited this is a little annoying here and i'll just simply print it so let me just redo this again i have compiled it let's execute this and i'll paste my data hit enter see one four six three five two this is the order okay now let's try the same thing with this recursion let's see what it gives so if i'll do this or you know what i will compare both let's do that it will be a fun so let's do this c out and line and i'll save this compile this and execute this so i'll hit enter see the order is little different here see in the first case we visited one two four five six three so here is the graph one two four five six three this is also a depth first search and another one is one four six three five two this is the order i explained you in my explanation cool right so don't forget these steps these steps are very important actually this one is coming only one time and this is just telling that okay go to step number two meaning this is a starting curly bracket and this is the uh, ending curly bracket and we don't need this so actually we have only three steps push and put a while loop and keep tracking third statement and third statement says that pop out a node from the stack and see all non-visited adjacent nodes of that one and push them into the stack and mark them visited that's it and when you pop out something make it as traversed output so it was fun right so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye